Hello, this is another to the point video showing you this time how to use Brother refillable cartridges. If you take a look at the cartridge, looking at the end, you'll see the bungs. The top one, believe it or not, is a filling bung. The bottom one is the air bung. Now that looks particularly weird, doesn't it? Because you feel that if you have too much liquid in here, it's going to come pouring out of this bung here. Let me assure you it doesn't. So let's have a look at how you're going to fill this thing. So you take away the air bung. You take away the filling bung. Using our new two part bottle, three part bottle, in terms of we've got a bottle containing the ink. We've got a removable filling nozzle and we have a cap. All you're looking to do is to pulse the ink in. So you offer this bottle up to the top hole like that and you just gently pulse. And please bear in mind I'm looking at the screen here. I can't see whether I'm messing this up or not. It seems to be good, doesn't it? There we go. Just pulse some ink in there, that'll about do it. And then when you bring it back, just watch the ink drain back out the nozzle, just gently bring it out. And pop the cap in, which of course I have managed to find, which is more luck but than judgment. But there you go, that's a filled cartridge. Yes, and as you see, there's no ink coming out of that air hole. Right, one thing I want to show you whilst we're on this, is that we do, in the past, we've offered the cartridges, we've supplied them without the bungs in, because we've been very concerned that people don't remove the bungs, and what we get is a customer on the phone saying that the printer's no good or the cartridge's no good. Let me just show you the hole running through here, and if you look this at the far end, you'll see it's blind. In other words, it's sealed off. All we do Take a pair of scissors, chop a small amount off, 20%, 25%, and what you've got then is in a hole running right through. What you do is you now put that in here, and we find that has far better air control. Because you haven't got such a big hole, it avoids blobbing whilst you're printing. So there you go, there's a couple of tips and I hope that works for you. Thank you very much.